Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and bless you and bless us all to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this holy month of Ramadan and after Ramadan to continue to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want to encourage myself first and foremost and my brothers and sisters to learn prophetic dua, learn supplication and learn proper dhikr, meaning dhikr according to the Quran and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and supplications in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Learn supplications. Try to memorize short supplications that are easy for you and that you know and understand the meaning and that you can pray with sincerity with your heart. You can put your heart into it. Because ultimately, as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Allah wa hi qalb. After he's described that there is a morsel of the fle uh, a flesh in the body, and if it's sick, the whole body is sick, and if it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. He said, "Allah wa hiya He said, "Verily, it's the heart." Listen to this beautiful du'a. I just learned it, and I'm not sure if I have memorized it quite yet. Uh, but it was sent to me, and it's a uh, you'll find it, of course, in Tirmidhi in Muslim Imam Ahmed, and Jazallah Khair to the brothers in Medina.com that they put this and translated this simple du'a and it was sent to me by one of my brothers so may Allah reward them and the brother who sent it to me my beloved brother may Allah preserve him and protect him I mean and increase him in khair I mean and here's the du'a of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam Allahumma inni as'alaku hubbuk wa hubba man yuhubbuk wa hubba kulli amal yuballaghani hubbuk O oh Allah, I ask you for your love. The love of everybody who loves you. And the love of every action by which I can reach your love. That's a beautiful hadith and a beautiful supplication of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And of course, supplicating in our own languages, things that we understand from our heart, this is incredibly important. So I don't want to discourage you about that, but I want to encourage you, which is the opposite, to also learn supplications of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this. Again, let's going to do this three times. Allahumma inni as'aluku hubbuk wa hubba man yuhubbuk wa hubba kulli amal yuballaghani hubbuk O oh Allah, I ask you for your love, the love of everybody who loves you, and the love of every action by which I can reach your love. Last time. Allahumma inni as'aluku hubbuk, wa hubba man yuhubbuk, wa hubba kulli amal yuballaghani hubbuk. O oh Allah, I ask you for your love, the love of everyone who loves you, and the love of every action by which I can reach your love. In this hadith, First, you're supplicating to Allah. Oh Allah, this is a talab. A talab, you're, you're requesting and you're, 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 you're asking your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're not asking the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. You're not asking the Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam or Isa, Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam. We love them all, but we're asking Allah azza wa jal. This is coming from our heart to our Lord, the, the wasila, the communication. Communicating to who? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma inni as'aluka hubba, hubba. O Allah, I ask you for your love. Because as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah mentioned, uh, that the, you know, that what is befitting for Ahl sunnah this is a very loose paraphrase, that is befitting for Ahl sunnah is asking to, uh, uh, for Allah's love. And it is not to be, uh, is not to, uh, 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 just to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because this is what you have with the extreme Sufis. This is the context. Is the extreme Sufis, they say they love Allah and they just, you know, make dhikr and they do all kind of dhikr. Bid'i is the problem. It's not the problem that they do dhikr. This is beautiful. This is a sign of iman. This is a sign of a mu'min. But the problem is the bid'a, the dhikr bid'iyah. It's the innovative types of dhikr that have no asl, no origin in the shara. 
and I'll tell you just a true story aside, when I first became Muslim the first night, I remember a brother, may Allah forgive us and him and guide us and him and bless us and him. I don't know if he's still a Sufi, but at that time he was a Sufi and I was a new Muslim. He brought me to his house, invited me, and we're from different cultures and it was a, a good experience. Came to his house and I remember he turned off the lights and he said, say uh, Allahu 100 times. And I thought, this is very strange. So my heart didn't even feel comfortable with that because I said, this wasn't the Islam that I was thinking about entering, that I, I was learning a little bit about. I didn't think it was this, turning off the lights and we got to, you know, do it like this. And it was kind of strange to me. The point being, a habit of Allah is suffice yourself with the sunnah. Al-Humini is al Oh Allah, I ask you for your love. And then the love of everybody who loves you. So all those who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the mu'mineen, you're asking for their love. And, and this is a beautiful thing to be between the believers, love. And love of those who love you. This is the most important aspect of this dua. And the love of every action by which I can reach your love. You're trying to attain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love. The affair, as Shaykh al-Islam mentioned, is not just to love Allah. Yes, that's imperative. But it's to gain Allah's love. Because how many people love Allah and cry with sincerity and they worship the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. They make tawaf around the graves of the dead. They give food and sacrifice to the deceased in the grave who cannot help them at all but instead the one who really loves Allah and come to to help Allah if, if you love Allah then to, to, to uh, you know follow me as the Prophet said if you love Allah or as the, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the ayah if you love Allah then follow me Follow who? The message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Follow his sunnah. Learn the afkar mentioned in the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I'm going to repeat, repeat that last part. And the love of every action by which I can reach your love. So that means that you are, you're asking Allah to make it easier for you to worship him. To do the actions that he subhanahu wa ta'ala loves so that he will love you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love you and love me and forgive us and forgive the Muslims everywhere and guide the Muslims everywhere and protect and preserve the Muslims everywhere.